Ugh, not my Mayel, not my Miel, not my Mimi. This is just not them. It's not them. This is not the Mayel Organics. I know it's not. It can't be. There's no way. So I'm going to take down my clip ends and I want you to get a good look of what my hair looked like after 24 hours. 24 hours of this gel in my hair. So I would like to think that the product claims would be true because it's my organics. They never do my hair wrong. Never had a problem. Until. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be trying the new Myel Organics Hawaiian Ginger Moisture RX Collection. When I first saw the name of these products, I was immediately taken back to the TGIN Miracle RX Collection. So I was very excited to see Myel drop new products because they don't normally roll out products as quickly as other companies. So the theme of this collection is all about moisture. It's all about restoring the life back into your dry, thirsty curls and giving your hair shine, moisture, and hydration it so desperately needs. Of the five products of this collection, I skipped the butter because I don't normally do butters during the summer, only during the colder months. So these are the products that I purchased. So the first product is the Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. It claims to restore your hair while you're sleeping. It's infused with avocado and ginger for detangling, protecting your hair from split ends, and leaving your hair soft and silky. This product feels very silky and creamy with a lot of moisture and I can't wait to put it in my hair. The next product that I purchased is their leave-in conditioner. It's supposed to lock in moisture, deliver long-lasting curl definition, and eliminate frizz. I also got their styling gel. This styling gel is perfect for twists, braid outs, and wash and goes. It claims to be a moisturizing gel because it has no alcohol and no carbomer. And lastly, I got the scalp treatment that treats a dry, itchy scalp, which I do experience mostly in the middle of my scalp. So it's late night, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the overnight conditioner. It states to apply this product from the ends of your hair to the root. Once I'm done, I'm gonna apply a plastic cap to my hair, put on my slap cap, and call it a night until the next day when it's time to wash it out and start styling my hair using the rest of the products. So just sit back and relax, watch me do my hair, while I put some music on for you to enjoy. So without further ado, let's get started.
So my hair is completed. I'm just going to let it air dry. It is hot. It's I don't know what outside. So instead of getting up on the dryer, I'm just going to go out run my errands, let my hair fully dry. And then when I come back, I'm just going to pick it out, just lift up a little bit by the roots, put a little jewel, maybe somewhere right here. I couldn't find my jewels, but I was going to put a little jewel right here, just a some little decorative piece or whatever, make it stand out. My hair feels highly moisturized, extremely soft, very lightweight, airy and bouncy. My curls are defined and juicy. I'm just really loving it so far, so I can't wait until it dries. So I'm going to check back with you a little later, and I'll show you the final results of this wash and go. <sighs> Obviously, this is not how my hair looked before I left off. Let me just start by saying something positive, and I'm going to try to smile through it, okay? Okay. No, but seriously, this overnight conditioner, I would say, is really, really good. At first, I felt some type of way about this product initially because leaving conditioner on my hair overnight under a bonnet, under a plastic cap, the moisture, the warmth, for some reason, I just thought I was going to wake up with mold in my hair. <laughs> but it did fine. It did fine. This product was very absorbent, very moisturizing, very penetrating to my hair, and it washed out very nicely. This product made my hair extremely soft, very moisturizing. Even after washing it out of my hair, my hair was still very soft, felt very moisturized, very nourished, and I just enjoyed it. I mean, it was just a really great product, and I really, really enjoyed this overnight conditioner. I've never did an overnight conditioner before. The product claims moisture. It smells so good. But the product claim is moisture. Moisture, moisture, moisture. Restoring moisture. And I would definitely say that because my hair was really dry. And I would say the product claims are true. You know, it was moisturizing and it was a conditioner. It was conditioning and moisturizing and hydrating and all those things. And I had zero complaints or problems with it. It washed out of my hair, no problems. And it was good. So that's all I can say about the conditioner. The leave-in was also very nice. And what was surprising, it was actually very lightweight because um, I was expecting it to be like heavy and just sit on top of my hair. But just like the overnight conditioner, it was very absorbent and very penetrating and just very lightweight and just made my hair feel very soft. And again, lots of moisture with this product, so it did not do me wrong. Uh, my hair my hair thoroughly enjoyed this leave-in. And also, I don't have a lot of leave-in, so I'm glad that I got this one and it actually works really great for my hair so I can keep this in my natural hair stash. Whenever I'm reaching for like a really great leave-in, this will definitely be one that I will go to. So yeah, no complaints, no problems with this one. Product claims are true. And it just left my hair feeling really, really great. And again, moisture, moisture, moisture is the theme. And I got that with this leave-in, so very happy about that. Now for the spray, the scalp treatment. I kind of did it a little backwards in the video because I honestly forgot about it. So I had already, you know, put all the product in my hair. And then I was like, oh, I forgot to put in the oil. So you saw me go in and just, you know, spray it in, in between. But next time I'll do this before I start putting all the products in my hair and massage it in. So I did really enjoy it. The only thing is it's a little bit too greasy for my liking. It's not as absorbent as I would like for it to have been. And maybe because my hair was still wet from the product. But next time I'll put it on my hair when it's dry. But even when my hair dried, my hair was still very greasy. It was like a handful of oil. I didn't really like that. But other than that, you know, it was okay. And I'll use it, but again, just a little bit too greasy for my liking. This moisturizing hair gel. Now for the negative. This moisturizing hair gel. Right here. What can I say? I really don't need to have to say anything. The product claim says that, you know, it's not, it doesn't leave your hair crunchy. It's not supposed to leave it flaky because there's no alcohol in it. And it's supposed to leave the shine and moisture. It's my organics. They always come through for my hair. Always. Never had a problem. Until. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Ugh. Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this? This is after 24 hours. It sounds dry. It looks dry. No moisture. This is a scandalous and a shame. 
first red flag. My mom was over here yesterday and she said, oh, your hair look dry. Why your hair look so dry? And I was like, mama, can't you show a little bit of support? But secretly I was like, you right. This stuff is dry. I can't even lie. It, it was like, you can see the dryness from a mile away. After I had put the product in my hair, I noticed I had to keep going back and reapplying product right along in here. Cause I just kept seeing frizz and a little bit right in here. It just frizz. It's like I could not get that frizz to go away. And I kept applying product, applying product to try to combat that frizz. Like I went to bed, put my bonnet on and typically I can just, you know, shake my hair out. or just put a little spritz of water. Don't take much. Just a little misting of water and just kind of shake it back out and my curls and everything's still defined and my hair's still got that shine and looks good. That's all I'm going to say about this. I'm not going to dwell on it because my Yale Organics is still a great brand and I am not going to dwell on the fact that one product did not work for my hair. They're still a good brand. For the most part, I did get moisture. And I think had I not used this gel, I think I would have retained that moisture. So that is all of this video. I hope you guys like watching me review and demo these products from my L Organics. If I had to give these products a grade, I would give them a B plus, which is a stretch because of the gel. <laughs> but I would give it a B plus because overall, I would say I did get the moisture. It was just the gel that just kind of killed it. So that's it. That's all I got to say about this line, these products. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So don't forget to hit that little bell beside the subscribe button. Hit the little bell and you'll be notified each time I drop a new video. It's just Janine and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.